I wonder when this train will stop moving. It's quite a keen camera you got there. Hey, you a photographer? It seems so. I mean, why else would I be holding a camera? Well, I'm on my way to Hollywood. You could take my photograph and send it to all the biggest movie studios so we could be rich and famous. You never know. You could be the next D.W. Griffith. And I shall be the next Merrick Pickford. <laughs> rich and famous? Well, you see, that could be a problem because I don't plan on being famous anytime soon. I mean, rich, rich I can handle. But famous? Not while the Great War is going on. The Great War is not our proudest time in history. But our boys are fighting hard for us over there in Europe. Not all of them. It appears that you've got yourself a fan already, Mr. Griffith. You would too. If you were deserting the draft. Oh my! That's a felony. And a felony I'd like to avoid. You see, Uncle Sam over there, not exactly the bee's knees. You know him? He's been following me since Atlanta. Well, one thing is for sure, Mr. Draft Deserter. There are no other passengers on this train. Coincidence? No matter to me. What are you gonna do? The same thing I always do. Escape. Sounds exciting. Why are you telling me all this? Because I need your help. Me? Yes, you. Mary Pickford. Let's see those acting skills. You go over there and distract that man while I sneak out the back door. Here. Take my camera. Keep it. Just help me get out of here. If you make it out of here alive, you should stop by the bridge by the next train station. Something beautiful might appear there this evening. 